Well, I want to talk about type 2 diabetes. Of course, we've known, gosh, for 70 years that type 2 diabetes uh, is um, a simple mineral deficiency disease. The doctors want you to believe it's genetic and um, everything they do. And in fact, they're looking for the genes and they've found the genes and so forth. This is a simple mineral deficiency disease. Um, you know, they want to treat with insulin because then they'll make $750,000 over the years with the leg amputations and the blindness and the cardiovascular disease and everything else that's associated with chronic uncontrolled diabetes. And um, it's simple to get rid of in anywhere from two weeks to six weeks. Very simple to get rid of. And um, I want everybody to get a hold of that uh, series of books, uh, Hell's Kitchen. The subtitle is The Cause Prevention and Cure of Obesity, Type 2 Diabetes, and the Metabolic Syndrome. Get a hold uh, of the book, uh, Rare Earth Bin Cures, and the trilogy of books, uh, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy. They all come at this uh, different ways. Uh, Hell's Kitchen that uh, tells you what to do about it and, and the actual history and, and the actual cause of mineral deficiencies of um, Type 2 Diabetes. And then the rare earth bin cures goes into the mineral deficiencies that cause it. Trilogy Books gives you the clinical approach to uh, preventing and reversing type 2 diabetes. And, of course, I like the healthy blood sugar pack from Longevity to deal with it. They take one healthy blood sugar pack per 100 pounds of body weight um, per month. It's a full dose of everything uh, per 100 pounds of body weight, and you divide whatever the calculated dose is, uh, half at breakfast, half at dinner, based on your body weight. Take your fasting blood sugar every morning before you medicate yourself, whether you're on pills or insulin or both. If you're a type 2 diabetic, you can expect your blood sugar to begin to drop very rapidly. And within, uh, again, two to six weeks, uh, most people uh, actually show a significant drop uh, in their blood sugar, their A1C hemoglobin, and they're able to wean themselves off of medication within a couple of months. And um, uh, you're an ex-diabetic at that point because it is a simple mineral deficiency disease. I'll see anybody in court on that one. And, of course, um, uh, this is so simple that once you've seen it done, you can deal with it. And and you know more than a medical doctor about type 2 diabetes. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and just assume that they're ignorant. Ignorance doesn't mean they're not stupid. It just means that they're uninformed. They don't know. And so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because if they know what I've just taught you, that means they are criminals. That means they are um, uh, doing what's called insurance fraud, which is a federal crime. And so, again, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and just assume that they're ignorant and they just don't know this stuff. But you need to take care of yourself. Um, If we depend on doctors, guess what? They're going to break America financially, particularly diabetes and obesity are the two things that are just driving everybody to bankruptcy. Eighty-five percent of bankruptcies in America is due to medical problems. And guess what? Uh, We can eliminate Type 2 diabetes in just a few weeks. America could be the first country that's diabetes-free, type 2 diabetes-free, and um, use the same process for type 1 diabetes, but you're never able quite to get them totally off of insulin because they don't make any. They'll always need a little bit, but it makes their life better, their quality of life better. But type 2 diabetes, which is the majority of uh, diabetes, is easy to prevent, easy to eliminate. People say, well, it's been in every generation of my family for the last six generations. How can you say that it's not genetic? Well, is because if you have it in generation after generation after generation, that means two things. Number one, probably everybody in your family is gluten intolerant, and the women are passing it on to their kids through the cord blood and or breast milk. And uh, uh, all you have to do is get everybody on a gluten-free diet, get on the uh, healthy blood sugar pack, one per 100 pounds of body weight, divide up your calculated dose, uh, half at breakfast, half at dinner. Again, take your fasting blood sugar before you medicate yourself in the morning, And you'll be able to very quickly wean yourself down and off of your medication, your type 2 diabetic. Um, This is a very simple thing, and I just waggle my finger at endocrinologists. And, uh, I mean, I've got some people, you know, people who own very large medical laboratories who are having trouble following the uh, endocrinologist's directions, and they have three PhDs in medical chemistry. These are not silly, dumb people. And in just a few months, three months, I was able to get their blood sugar down to normal, Everyone see hemoglobin below the upper normal limits. And um, within a year, I mean, they were just like totally diabetes free. And it's an amazing thing. Um, and so we do a lot of things together. This is a very simple disease to eliminate, very simple disease to prevent. And um, everybody in your family, even if they have type 2 diabetes, 
should be able to uh, wean down off their medication, go to the stage of called ex-diabetic. And, and we have lots of people, thousands of people, literally every month who become an ex-diabetic uh, simply because they follow these simple directions. Again, get a hold of that book, Hell's Kitchen. The subtitle is The Cause, Prevention, and Cure of Obesity, Type 2 Diabetes, and the Metabolic Syndrome. Get Rare Earths Been Cures. It teaches you all the mineral deficiencies that are associated with and produce type 2 diabetes. The Trilogy books gives you the clinical approach to identifying, diagnosing yourself. You can do all your own blood sugar tests. The Trilogy books, especially um, the home laboratory chapters in the book, Let's Play Doctor. And then, of course, I love the Healthy Blood Sugar Pack. It is a laser to deal with type 2 diabetes and also type 1 diabetes, but you can't expect to get the same result with that because type 1s don't make any insulin, where type 2 diabetics can make like 10 times more insulin than non-diabetic. And, of course, if you're on statin drugs that lower your cholesterol, guess what? You have a 52% increase in, increase in chance of getting type 2 diabetes if you use statin drugs. Stay away from statin drugs and reduce your risk of, a, of type 2 diabetes by 52%. We'll be back with more truth, justice, and the young Jivity way. Undead doctors don't lie for these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? Well, I thought we'd continue talking about type 2 diabetes as I've got a ABC News story here that's headlined 10 signs of type 2 diabetes. See your doctor if you have these symptoms. They say 24 million people in the U.S. are affected by diabetes, but only about 18 million know they have it. Say about 90% of all of those people have type 2 diabetes. And according to... Uh, Maria Calazzo Clavel, a medical doctor and endocrinologist at Mayo Clinic, says they call it the silent killer because the, these are easy to miss symptoms. She said almost every day people come into my office with diabetes and don't know it. Say the best way is to get a blood sugar test. And then they go through the 10 little uh, list here. Increased urination and excessive thirst. They say you need to urinate frequently. You have to get up several times in the night. They say that's because the kidneys kick into high gear to get rid of the extra glucose in the blood. They go on to say weight loss. Overly high blood sugar levels can also cause rapid weight loss in about 10 to 20 pounds over two to three months. And they say this is not healthy weight loss. And then number three. Uh, hunger, excessive pangs of hunger, another sign of diabetes, uh, come in sharp uh, peaks and lows in blood sugar. And they go on to say skin problems, itchy skin, result of dry skin for, uh, or poor circulation can often be a warning sign of diabetes. And other skin conditions such as acanthosis nigricans, a darkening of the skin around the neck and armpit area. Also, I say slow healing, infections, cuts, and bruises that don't heal quickly. Yeast infections, diabetes is considered to be an immu immunosuppressant state, means that uh, you heightened susceptibility for infections. Yep. And they go on to say uh, fatigue and irritability, uh, blurry vision, tingling and numbness, and, of course, blood tests that show you have diabetes. Yeah, well, again, type 2 diabetes, uh, they're giving the symptoms. They don't tell you how to prevent it or how to get rid of it. And, um, again, I, I have people get a hold of that book, uh, Let's Play Doctor, in the home laboratory. There's a whole section on how to do your own uh, blood sugar test, your six-hour um, blood sugar uh, test. Uh, uh, your, you just, if your blood sugar in the morning when you wake up before you eat, uh, you can do your own urinalysis. You can go to a pharmacy and for less than... Uh, gosh, less than three bucks, you can get the test strips each. I think they're like a buck and a quarter, buck fifty each, depending on the size of the bottle you get. You can get them in a bottle of five or ten or twenty strips. And you can do your own uh, urinalysis. You can do your own blood sugar test for less than five bucks. And, you know, when you do it all together. And your doctor is going to charge you anywhere from $200 to $800 to a six-hour um, blood sugar test. And uh, uh, it's, it's absolutely insane when you can do it yourself for pennies. And so I urge everybody to do it yourself. And again, together, here with um, uh, Doug and, and Char and me and everybody else with uh, the um, Longevity family and the Dead Doctors Don't Lie family, we can save America. We can eliminate type 2. We, can, we have the technology right now to eliminate type 2 diabetes in America in, in 90 days because it takes, you know, some people have absorption problems with gluten intolerance and all this kind of stuff. But once your asshole put your arm around it and get rid of all the problems with absorption and so forth, getting rid of type 2 diabetes is a very simple thing. So I urge everybody to take control, do it yourself, leave the doctor 
out of the loop and will save America. You keep putting the doctor in the loop, doctor is going to use you as an ATM machine. Why would you let them use you as an ATM machine when you can get rid of type 2 diabetes yourself? How easy is that? Well, Doug, you've seen it happen many times yourself where people will get rid of their type 2 diabetes, haven't you? I sure have. Well, everybody, get on get on the stick here. Get a hold of the book Hell's Kitchen. Get a hold of the Healthy Blood Sugar Pack. And let's save America together. And we'll be back with more truth, justice, and the young Jibbity way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie After These Messages. with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Longevity and 90 for Life Crusade. We do have lines open. Give us a call toll-free, 1-888-379-2552. Again, that's toll-free, 1-888-379-2552. And if you exercise, you're sweating, you want to get a hold of that book, Energy Crisis. There is a CD that goes along with it by the same title, Energy Crisis. And it actually compares uh, the Longevity Sports drinks and energy drinks, uh, Rebound and um, ACT, uh, Pure 3X Renew, uh, Pollen Burst, and so on. And uh, I urge you to get it. Of course, it tells you how we human beings extract energy from carbohydrates, proteins, and um, fats. And so t- it's a great little book to have if you're going to exercise. So you understand why you have to supplement. You just can't drink water because of how much nutrients is in sweat. That's the book. Energy Crisis and the CD by the same title, Energy Crisis. Oh, yeah, don't forget Rebound. Don't forget ACT. Don't forget Pure Renew 3X. And don't forget Pollen Burst. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to South Dakota. And Diane, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Diane. You're on the air. Dr. Wallach, good to talk to you. Well, thank you. What's up? Okay, um, I have some serious issues with my cortisol. I have high morning cortisol. Four months ago, it was 20. 4.9. Uh, last Thursday is 22.1. My doctor wants me to see an endocrinologist, and uh, I did a saliva test. I have, and that revealed also high evening cortisol and low progesterone. Okay, well, we, we have to go back to the beginning here. How tall are you, Diane? Five, two and a half. Okay, and how much do you weigh? 117. 100, what, 117? Hello? Yes, 117, yes. 117. Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, what are you worried about cortisol for? You're right in the kind of perfect weight range. Really? Well, the doctor keeps telling me I have to see an endocrinologist. He's worried Why? about it being too high. Really? Well, but that, well, your body weight doesn't reveal that. I mean, if you weighed 160 pounds, I'd be concerned. But 117 pounds at five two and a half, you know, you might be able to lose 7 pounds or something like that. Well, you can do that in three days, Okay. You don't need to stay away from an endocrinologist. They're going to want to oh. do a, they'll do a gastric bypass. They'll do stomach stapling. They'll put you on drugs, and they will kill you. Okay. I can't sleep at night. I have insomnia. Oh, uh, well, there we have a little insomnia. We can fix that. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Do you have any skin problems? Any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea? Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Which one? Well, skin problems, you know, dry skin, real dry skin. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And do you have rosy cheeks without blush? No, no, my cheeks are not rosy. Okay, did you have asthma as a kid? No. Mhm. Okay, well, if you have skin problems, you have a, you have a gluten intolerance. That's that's why your cortisol is up. So you have to get on a gluten free diet. Everybody in your household, including kids and husbands and boyfriends and moms and dads and uh, dogs, cats. Canaries, everything in the household has got to be gluten free because of cross contamination, the washer and dryer, the bed, the couch, food preparation services. Uh, you, you can't be gluten free in a household where everybody else is eating gluten. So the whole household has got to be gluten free. Then no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates, nitrites, no oils, no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressing, cooking oils. And then I would take one healthy start pack for 100 pounds of body weight. So you have one healthy start pack, half a dose of everything at breakfast and dinner. You want to get the ASAP. And you want to get a hold of Rebound and drink that instead of soft drinks, drink that instead of tea. You could drink our weight loss coffee, Java Fit Diet. And call me every two weeks with your body weight. We'll be back after these messages. We're 
back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Longevity and 90 for Life Crusade. We do have lines open. Give us a call toll-free, 1-888-379-2552. Again, that's toll-free, 1-888-379-2552. And if you're a baby boomer born between 1946 and 1964, and you're standing on the tracks waiting for the epidemics, and I mean, we're not talking about bird flu and swine flu here. We're talking about things like Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, obesity, arthritis, um, heart attack, stroke, cancer, all that kind of stuff because you follow the directions of doctors, whoa. Well, what I want you to do is get a hold of that book, God Bless America, which was written for baby boomers. It'll tell you how to avoid all these epidemics and how to survive all kinds of disasters, natural disaster, insurrection, civil unrest, home invasion, all kinds of stuff. And uh, that is, of course, again, the book, God Bless America. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Well, let's head to Monrovia, California, and Roxy, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, hello, Roxy, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Can I help you? Uh, yes, um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Um, That's right, you're, so you're, you're amongst family here, you don't need to be nervous. <laughs> I've been dealing with candida. Um, I just started treatment for it with some herbs, but it seems like my body isn't detoxing um, correctly. Okay, well first, I feel all, like I'm... well, first of all, Roxy, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, and how much do you weigh? Uh, 100 pounds. 100 pounds, okay, and how tall are you? 5'4". All right, so you're slim. All right. Yeah. And so how, how does this um, candida manifest itself other than exhaustion? Um, I don't know. I'm hypersensitive sensitive to different things like vinegar, baking soda, fragrances, mm -hmm. um, fabric. Okay. Um, now, do you have any skin issues, any any uh, eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea? Um, I get redness around my face. Okay. And I have, I don't know if it's like, a, like fungal patches on my abdomen. Oh. Okay. Now, are these and kind of crusty, crusty things on the surface of your skin? Yeah. Okay, and um, let's see here. Did you ever have belly issues when you were a kid, kind of like uh, bloating, belly pain, things like that? Did you have your appendix out? No, I, I began with irritable bowel syndrome um, right okay. after I had a mono infection. Okay, so, uh, so you had, um, what, diarrhea, constipation, what? Um, bloating, and oh. it seemed like... I was constipated, but then when I had to use the restroom, it was like loose stool. Mm -hmm. So it kind of go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, you might go three days without a bowel movement. Then when you have one, it'd be diarrhea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Shar. Yes. You already know the answer to this. Of course, this is definitely and a gluten intolerance. There's absolutely no question about it. Okay. And what would you do for this young lady? She's she's a little bit taller than you, but about the same weight. So what would you do for her? Uh, and, of course, um, uh, candida is a secondary thing. It, it, it comes on you when you have these kinds of problems, but it's not the basic root cause of your problems. And so what we, what would we do for this young lady here, Char? She needs to get on a gluten-free diet immediately, but she needs to get a, get a healthy start pack, basic okay. program. Mm -hmm. And what would you do internally and externally for the um, uh, yeast, let's say? Well, the sugar, no sugar because... It yeast feeds on sugar, so that just mm -hmm. exasperates it and makes it worse. So she needs okay. to get on a low, low, no sugar diet. Okay. And um, I don't know. If, will killer biotic get rid of it? I know. Yeah, well, killer biotic. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly perfect. I killer biotic orally. Too. Yeah, killer biotic. I would take that orally. Yep. Um, uh, say ten drops in an ounce of water twice a day. Our Envision colloidal silver from Longevity. I would also use. Um, or tea tree oil topically on any little fungal things on the outside. And give us a call every couple of weeks if you would, please, Roxy, and we'll walk you through this. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Michigan. And Robert, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Robert. You're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, sir. Uh, What's up? Yeah, I'm calling for my dog. Uh, he's a Yorkie, and he's 11 years old and weighs about 16 pounds, and I just found out a couple days ago that he has cancer 
Um, there are cancer masses in multiple locations that were seen on an X-ray. Um, and this is also uh, somehow causing fluid to build up into his lungs. So he's, he's had a cough um, as well you as... You know, the uh, cancer masses, do they take a biopsy or do they just see him on an X-ray? Just the X-ray. Okay, so we don't know really if they're benign or if they're... Um, malignant because to me a 16 pound Yorkie is a pretty big Yorkie he's a big boy yeah but he's he's not overweight mm -hmm. but he's a big Yorkie yes mm -hmm. yeah um, and these these uh, masses are in his abdomen um, I, I I'm pretty sure at least one or two of them were oh there's in some in his chest also uh, Yes, I believe somewhere around the lungs, which is causing fluid to develop mm -hmm. in there. Okay. Yeah, these could be anywhere, really, from uh, cancer to fatty tumors that are benign. And it uh, wouldn't hurt uh, if there's any of them under the skin or is some of them easy access in the belly to have one of them removed to see what it is. Uh, but at any rate, uh, let's uh, kind of start out here. Um, I'd give them... Um, one full scoop of Arthrodex in his food every day. It's a, kind of slightly, you know, it's one scoop for 25 pounds of body weight, but he, he might have a life-threatening thing here, so I'd be a little heavy-handed. One scoop of Arthrodex in his food every day. And I uh, would change his food, if you haven't already done it, to a dog food that's designed for toy dogs under 20 pounds of body weight. And then um, I would also uh, give him uh, one capsule of Arselenium a day, open it up, drop it in there. Uh, in his food, you know, the powder. And I would also use the um, Cell Shield RTQ. I'd open up about two capsules of our Cell Shield RTQ and dump that powder in his food every day. And you're trying to get his antioxidant points up there. But it wouldn't hurt to, rather than just stick a needle in it, I would get one of them removed and have it sent to a university. Um, you know, if you're in Michigan. Well, they're all on the, uh, on the inside of his body. There's none on the outside. Yeah, I understand. But if they're on the inside of his belly, these are easy access. You can do it in like three minutes. It's like it's not like you're doing a heart operation or anything like that. If it's the size of a – are these things the size of an orange or the grape or what? No, I'd probably say more around a grape, maybe a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, of course, they could be lymph nodes or they could be – um, cancer from someplace else, or they could be just fatty tumors. So those are all possibilities. At any rate, this is where I would start with the one scoop of the uh, Arthrodex, change of food, um, one um, capsule of the selenium a day, and two capsules of the Cell Shield RTQ. And then give us a call when you have more information, but that's exactly where I would start, okay? Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Santa Cruz, California, and Douglas, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Douglas, you're on the air. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Wallach. Uh, yeah, yes, I've got a, a woman who's 49 years old. She's uh, super fit, teaches uh, women's empowerment and fitness. She's a marathon okay. runner and uh, has been a competitive power lifter, and she suffers from oh. depression and low energy. She's on medication, uh, Prozac, Effexor, and uh, just adding Clonopin. Okay, so tell me about tell me about this woman. Does she have any skin problems or a history of any respiratory problems? Uh, not that I know of in terms of the skin problems. Doesn't look look like it at all. Okay, uh, no exercise induced asthma, anything like that. Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. Does she have children? Yes. Do you know if any of her children have any illnesses? Um, I've met her daughter, and her daughter uh, really looks quite healthy. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I'm just saying from the outside, I don't know. Sure. Okay. Uh, she, her family does have her, uh, her brothers have substance abuse problems, and her mother apparently does, does as well. Sure. Okay, well, how much does she weigh, you think? Uh, I would say she's probably, she's very solid, so she's probably about 5'4", maybe 125, 130, something like that. Okay, Charmaine. Yes? And <laughs> where would you start this lady off? Well, she's got low energy and she's got compression. She needs a healthy bone and joint pack for one thing. Oh, depression. Oh, dep but she well, yeah, and she needs the uh, de stress for the depression. But she needs the, for the okay, not compression, depression. Okay, she needs the uh, 
She still needs a healthy bone and joint pack, but she needs the de-stress for the depression. Okay. And, uh, yeah, also I would have her use the rebound for um, her sports drink as opposed to any of the others. Uh, uh, All the other sports drinks out there either have two to six nutrients in it. Rebound has 100. And when people have depression, especially with the history of running marathons and um, weightlifting and fit and running and exercising, it's not unusual over time to get depleted of nutrients. No matter how well you eat, no matter how spiritually elevated you are, you're going to sweat out nutrients and replace with water or some of these uh, sports drinks or energy drinks that have little or no nutrition in them. So it's imperative for her to kind of catch up even if she's sort of suspended those kind of activities, I would have her uh, use the rebound, and I would also have her, um, uh, I would even throw in, uh, make it a healthy blood sugar pack as opposed to just a healthy start pack. And, of course, uh, Char's right on because she, if she is still working out, I'd have her throw in the glucogel, which is going to support uh, maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue. And also um, I would have her take... The um, HGH, I never take six of those at bedtime with a glass of water. And uh, let's start there. Uh, have her stay away from sugar, alcohol, even red wine and stuff, which is, you know, not bad to have a glass of red wine with a dinner once in a while. But I would have her stay away from alcohol, which is a liquid sugar. Stay away from sugars. And then give us a call when you have more information. Let's see how she does, you know, every couple of weeks. Give us a call every couple of weeks, will you? Uh, now, she also mentioned that she uh, doesn't eat meat, or when I asked her about that, almost never eats meat. Okay, well, that's okay. She can, do, she can do very well without meat, but she does need to eat eggs. So somebody who's doing what she's doing, I would have her eat, uh, say, six eggs a day. They cannot be fried. They have to be soft poached with a soft yolk, soft boiled with a soft yolk, soft, 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 soft scrambled in butter, not oils or margarine. She does need to have some animal protein, uh, most vegetarians do either eat eggs, so they're an ovo-vegetarian, or they'll eat dairy, uh, cheese, and milk, and yogurt, and they'll be a lacto-vegetarian. Some eat both, so they're an ovo-lacto-vegetarian, and some uh, eat uh, fish also, so they'll be an ovo-lacto-pisco-vegetarian. Some will eat poultry, too, and so they'll be an ovo lacto pisco pollo vegetarian So when somebody says a vegetarian and they don't eat red meat, you have to ask what else they do eat, animal proteins. Uh, it would be imperative here with her history and background, okay? Thank you very uh, much. You're very welcome, sir. Get back to us in two weeks and give us an update. Okay, well, stick with us. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Yongevity Way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Giving, the 90 for Life Crusade. And, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Alberta, Canada. And, Larry, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Larry. You're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. Uh, this, I'm calling from Alberta, Canada, about my daughter, uh, Leanne. Okay. She, is, she was born on August 23, 2006, and she cannot walk. The way she's walking is with KAFOs that go all the way up to her hip. With no really diagnosis, the doctor can come up with. They're diagnosing her with tether cord syndrome or uh, severe oligohydromenosis, if I'm cor- uh, pronouncing it correct. Probably not. Would you repeat that? It's oligohydromenosis. Okay. Um, or. Uh, or more information, when, like her, she was breached when her mother carried her with very little. Yeah, that's, that's probably not anything to do with it. Um, um, was she considered a normal baby or a floppy baby when she was born? Was she a weak baby when she was born, or was she typically normal? Well, the diagnosis thing she had was, or discharge was, when she was discharged, was a term in for 38 weeks, contraction of knees and hips, fracture of left femur, bilateral club feet, decreased mobility of both legs, and atrophy of muscles of lower limbs. Okay, so she's born with atrophy of the limbs and had club feet and everything when she's born, right? Yes. Okay, now now she is how old again? Uh, six and a half, somewhere around there. 
Six and a half. Okay, has she progressively gotten worse, stayed the same, gotten a little better, or what? She's getting better. The doctors are really surprised that she's come this far. Okay, good. And how much does she weigh? Mm, 85 pounds. Okay, so she's a little chunky for six and a half. Mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. All right. Does she have any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? No. Okay. Does she have any history of asthma? No. Okay. Does she have any belly problems? Does she complain about her belly hurting? No. Okay. Can she communicate? Is she bright and, and doesn't have anything going on with her head? Very bright girl. Okay, good. So she can use the computer and does her, do her hands work okay? Very good. That's how she gets around with her walker. She's very strong with her hands. Okay, so everything that's going on is, is kind of below her waist. It's below her knees. That's very bad. Like, she cannot move her ankles, cannot move her toes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it sounds like she had a congenital defect. Mama was missing something for one reason or another during pregnancy when the legs were forming. And so this is usually the cause of club feet and, and so forth. It's not due to breech birth or anything like that. And um, so uh, basically what I would do um, for 85-pound child, okay, but Char, what would you do for this 85-pound uh, child? Well, she probably, she, she probably needs the glucogel and everything to rebuild mm -hmm. her bones and everything, so I would put her on the healthy bone and joint pack, wouldn't you? Perfect. Now, yeah, for, I'd treat her for 100 pounds, one healthy bone and joint, exactly perfect, Char. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one healthy bone and joint pack, I'd uh, split it in half, so she gets a tablespoon of the Osseo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, uh, one scoop of the BTT Beyond Tan Tangerine at breakfast and dinner, the three EFA Pluses, she could have one at breakfast and two at dinner, and then the glucogel, I'd have her take, um, oh, say, two twice a day of the glucogel, or you can get her another bottle of glucogel, so she could have five twice a day, wouldn't hurt her to take five twice a day. That's going to support and promote um, repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone, matrix bone itself. And it wouldn't hurt for everybody in the household to get on a gluten-free diet and maximize absorption. And um, let's see how that goes. Um, wouldn't hurt also uh, for, for um, metabolism of the brain and spinal cord. What would you give to increase metabolism of brain and spinal cord, Char? Um, boy. How about de-stress capsules? That's okay, yeah. Yep, let's go with de-stress capsules, and I'd have her take a, one of those twice a day. And then they give us a call every couple of weeks and let us know how she's doing. The fact that she's progressing, that's a good thing. Let's see if we can't speed up the progression. Well, thank you, everybody. Really a great testimonies and questions today. Thank you, Char. Thank you so much, Doug and Billy. Superlative jobs as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America.